Welcome back. It'll be a wide open race for Milwaukee County Executive in the spring following incumbent Chris Abley's decision not to seek reelection. The Journal Sentinel reports Peggy Whitman, who works in the clerk of circuit court's office, has filed to run. So have two current elected officials, State Representative David Crowley of Milwaukee and Glendale Mayor Brian Kennedy. Mayor Kennedy is joining us now here on Upfront. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So I think a big question, when people think county executive right now, they're thinking about the budget. And you would be inheriting something that could potentially be a nightmare. I mean, a $28 million budget shortfall for 2020. It's a big question, but what's the solution for that? You have to be thinking yeah. about it. No, I absolutely have. And the interesting thing is I'm the only person in this race who's actually inherited a much smaller scale, similar situation. When I took over as mayor of the city of Glendale, we had 119 million dollar development debt and we now have a 19 million dollar development debt in four and a half years we've paid down a hundred million dollars in bonds uh, we brought in 55 million dollars in new business investment part of what you do is is you try and grow the pie you have more and more people that are paying and contributing to a tax base then you have more you have more revenue to work with and that's exactly what we've done in the city of Glendale and we did we've had so much success in the last four and a half years that this year we actually lowered our property tax rate by 13 percent and so what exactly would you plan to do in Milwaukee County, at least originally? What are you thinking? Well, I think one of the biggest things we need to do is to have a county executive who will work with all of the mayors and village presidents in the county to bring in and work to recruit new, new investment in the county. We have areas that need to be redeveloped in both the city of Milwaukee as well as in many of the suburbs. Uh, we have untapped areas that haven't been developed yet. I would, as county executive, take the initiative to work with all of the mayors and village presidents to bring in more investment into the county. Milwaukee is a hopping, happening place right now. The eyes are on this, this city and this county in 2020 with the DNC coming here. And I see a lot of great opportunities to reach out to national and international businesses and help them, encourage them to locate here. At one strategy we've talked a little bit about on this show, Mayor Tom Barrett came on promoting that 1% sales tax increase, but then Senator Fitzgerald said, it's dead on arrival. That's what he told me. What do you think about it? Well, it's interesting because Senator Fitzgerald wasn't it's dead on arrival until he decided to run for Congress. Um, I was actually a part of the Fair Deal Task Force that helped put together a series of suggestions. And we looked at the county's revenue situation. We looked at a whole bunch of possible solutions, and we developed a list of, of what we thought would be potentially viable solutions. The one that the working group uh, that we put together ended up coming forward with was the 1% sales tax. We have tens of thousands of people that work in this county but live somewhere else. They utilize our infrastructure every day and they don't help to support it. We have a couple million visitors that come into this county every single year for Summerfest, for other big events, and they don't contribute to the infrastructure. We rely almost exclusively on property taxes for homeowners and business owners that, that live and work here. And so we really need to develop an opportunity to gather revenue from folks who utilize our infrastructure but right now aren't paying for it. And you've worked with Chris Abley, but this still came as a surprise to you, right? It did, you know, I, I was, he actually asked me to be the co-chair of his re-election campaign. And so, you know, had been supporting him and for, you know, a number of months, you know, we'd been working on a campaign for him to run for re-election. So yeah, I was quite surprised. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually grateful that this opportunity is here because to having somebody like me who's an experienced executive, we've never had a mayor elected to be county executive before. We, we've never put somebody in this office who's had to do the same thing on a city level, just expand it to the county level. So for people who don't know you, who live outside of Glendale, tell me about yourself. You know, I have progressive values. Uh, I am a member of the Democratic Party. Uh, however, in office, I have been very pragmatic. I don't have, you know, 100% support on my common council, for example. So I've had to work to build bridges. We have passed some really incredible things, including, you know, uh, we adopted the Paris Agreement with a unanimous vote out of the common council. We adopted a green infrastructure program for the city. We now, we just opened last week a, uh, a net zero ready city hall. We are looking to be a green city government. And that was, that was a lot of work and collaborating to, to get to that point. I've put people on city committees now that really reflect what Glendale looks like. For the first time, our plan commission is half male, half female. We have our first openly gay member of the plan commission, first African American to serve on the plan commission. I've looked to find people in my community who are qualified for the jobs, but also bring a different voice to the table. I do the same thing in county government. All right. Mayor Kennedy, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Next, Milwaukee's mayoral race and an issue that could be front and center.